Hi everyone. Today we are going to continue to observe blood physiological phenomenon. I notice hype around spirulina. Some people also calling it superfood that rich with a plant-based protein, vitamins and minerals like a zinc and magnesium. I've also noticed that few of my friends were consuming it. So I took an opportunity and asked one of them for three tablets. In this experiment, we are going to find out how spirulina supplement will affect my blood condition. First, we are going to check my morning blood. For purity of experiment, I haven't had any food or drink. This is my blood zoomed 200 times. Blood looks below the average today. It is noticeable that red blood cells are slightly squeezed together but we still can see some space in between them. Let's have a look at 800 zoom. It looks like erythrocytes are squeezed together but they are not glued to each other, which is a good sign. We can also observe small chains and some of them are long and looks like a worm. Let's get going, zooming to 2000. This view gives us a real length of the worm. They are quite long and very close to each other. Let's try to move them around. The flow is good today. They move freely. Here is my sugar level before taking spirulina. It is in a balance. It is because I didn't have any fruits or sugar before bed. I took three spirulina tablets, 500 mg each. Two of them were crushed in a glass and dissolved with in 300 milliliters of water. The remaining one I took as a tablet with the ones that, that were dissolved in a water. So 40 minutes later I took the blood sample and put it under the microscope. What you see now is blood zoomed 200 times. At first glance the blood shows signs of improvement we can see that blood become thinner and red blood cells more stretched from each other. Let's have a closer look, zooming to 800. 800 gives an impression that there are many more single erythrocytes than it was before. It is also noticeable that the length of the coin stack becomes slightly shorter. So here is 2000 zoom. There is no arguing that blood condition improved. The space between erythrocytes increased. Look at the flow. This is very close to ideal blood condition when most of the erythrocytes are on its own. Conclusion can be drawn that spirulina do have positive impact on the blood. This is the sugar level after taking spirulina. The sugar level remains still. It looks like spirulina behave the same way as ginger. If you haven't seen yet how ginger affects our blood, I will leave a link in the description below. I also found that spirulina is used as a main source of vitamin B12. Apparently spirulina contains a B12 analog and not the real B12. They are similar in chemistry to B12 but not similar in function. However, chlorilla does contain a significant amount of real B12. If you are in a hunt for B12, chlorilla may be your best bet instead of spirulina. If you are interested in how chlorilla impacts on blood condition, hit a like button. If you are interested in how food affecting our blood, please subscribe to Hematic Food Channel. If you believe that this information can help someone, please share it.